now that we went over the text boxes, the images, and the wide and the normal boxes, it's a good thing that we can use the preview option, which is right there, because since we already have a good detail base as a website, now we can already start to see what it looks like on a browser. So I'm going to quickly create something on Sparkle and we're going to try this uh, preview option and we're going to see all the different uh, thing we can do with the desktop or even on the iPad or the device we have next to us. Just gonna add a couple of uh, white boxes to give some uh, length to the website. I could have actually used one of those templates, it would have saved me some time. Oop, that's too big. Let's uh, sketch that. Fill, fit, no, fill, perfect. I'm just going to transform this one into the basic text template. Oh, not the box, the text. Okay. For this one, let's just add gradient this way um, oh, I have some nice pictures here let's just add one let me actually switch this one and this one I'm gonna remove and just add this one I like this one. I took this one while I was in Paris. A guy playing music to the public. Okay, let's just get rid of this one. Goodbye. So now we have the preview option. It is right here. And we have the option to see on the browser on Safari, Firefox, or Chrome, which I do not have. That's why. And we can open the live preview. And we can see them dancing down there and up. Fire Safari, first on the line, and Firefox. And it's good to test on multiple browsers because sometimes some browsers they render some uh, HTML and CSS code kind of differently. So you want to be sure that your design fits everything well. Well, since I'm doing everything with pictures. Let's just go ahead and make this one a picture too. Okay. I want to see the head. Ah, that's ugly. That's okay. Let's just put some water since it's the footer of the website. That's the same of the top, if I do that. I guess that's going to be too much sky. Yeah, that's not going to make it. That's fine. Let's just keep it like that. Whatever. So as you can see, the live preview, I changed the picture, and the live preview just did it automatically. I can show you right here that if I change the image again here, the page is automatically reloaded to the top if I change anything here. So I'm just going to show you right here. If I go to the top, the preview is automatically changed and goes the same, of course, for Safari and Firefox and Chrome, of course, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to leave it in center. So I just have the 
device on the PC and landscape tablet tablet. So we can try on different device, but it's gonna stay the same design for all of them. So we can reduce and see that on an iPhone this size it's not gonna reformat the text and picture, so the user is gonna have to scroll left and right and bottom and back and uh, up and down. Oops, I lost it. Okay. And full screen, that's not a problem. Okay, so as you can see, the preview is quite easy to use. It's just like if you're browsing on a real website, but the um, website is actually something that is in local. It's um, sent from the Sparkle app. One thing that doesn't work with the preview, like you can always switch page during the preview. And if you're looking at that page, the preview is going to switch automatically to the page you are looking at. But something that is not working on the preview is if you change, let's say, that text into a link and you want to send the user into, let's say, on Google. Here it is. In the preview, the people are going to see the the little hand as a link, but the links are not uh, working on the preview. So if you are working with links, just be sure that you test the links uh, before you upload your website on a server and you, you be sure that you test uh, the links by using the the files from Sparkle but we're going to see that later because you want to be sure that you don't have any broken links and you put your website online and if half of it is not working it's not going to look very good so now we just did a uh, local on the same computer a little preview on the browser installed on your uh, Mac but you also have the possibility to use another mobile device on the computer on the same network so you're just going to switch this little option right there and you're going to receive your uh, local address where you can browse and for this I can use uh, an iPad that I have just next to me and I'm going to use Reflector which is an app that simulates an Apple TV on your Mac and I'm just going to mirror this here it is. If it comes to the screen, it would be great. Okay. So now you see what I have on my iPad right there. And I'm going to use Safari. And I have the, it's always the same, Sparkle, my preview. And I'm going to refresh this. believe I do not have the full four okay oh here it is so as you can see you have the same preview as what you have on your screen on sparkle and if I do a little modification right here let's say I move again this picture to the sky you're going to see up oh, my iPad just refreshed automatically and you can see what the website looks like on uh, iPad. It's an iPad mini if you are curious to know. So that's true that the device here doesn't really work. It's not an iPad normal, it's an iPad mini. The blanc white, okay. It doesn't change, okay. I can switch to this view, it's still the same. That's why the, the device option works for PC and tablets. And you can see that even horizontal and vertical, the website is pretty good. But we're gonna see later how to adapt it for mobile and because mobile is completely different because everything needs to be bigger and easier for the people to read. So this is the preview option on a device other than the main computer by using the network server 
preview and it's quite it's very easy to to do you just open safari and you fire up safari on that uh, local address and you are good to do your changes and use your ipad or the devices next to you and it's a uh, real time modification and everything and again on the ipad checking the the link if i click on the link it's always going to pop back to the same preview page the link are not working so for this you're gonna have to try on a real server or once you export the design the the website on your computer you can use the html and css to try locally on your own computer 